So we're here at the Atlantic City Boxing Hall of Fame, and one of the things that I just found out today was that uh, the champ, Muhammad Ali, uh, owned a mansion in Cherry Hill, which is still being utilized to continue his legacy. Uh, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about that? Yes, so my name is Camilla Little. I'm the president of the Champs Camp Incorporated, where we empower youth through mentorship and education through the life and legacy of Muhammad Ali. And to your point, uh, the Cherry Hill Mansion is where we do some of our programming, where our youth can walk through the halls. We have something called a um, our scavenger hunt, where they're able to learn more about the mansion and what Muhammad Ali may have done or his activities, and then kind of pull questions where we're able to ask them about themselves and about their confidence, about you know what makes them great, what makes them great for their communities, and what makes them great at home, and, and being able to have the youth walk through and be a part of the two living legacies, both Fighters Heaven and Muhammad Ali's former train, excuse me, Fighters Heaven, Muhammad Ali's former training camp, and the Cherry Hill Mansion. Um, we think that the immersive experience does more for them to keep them to transform them in different ways that a normal camp would not. Uh, how can people get more information about the Champs Camp? Oh, absolutely. Um, you can follow us on social media. We have Instagram, the Champs Camp Incorporated. Facebook, it's also the Champs Camp Incorporated. And if you'd like to know more information, um, you can go on our website, jointhechamps.org. Um, we're, we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization and we're looking to serve the youth of South Jersey and beyond. You look like you might be a, a little too young to have seen Muhammad Ali ever fight in person, but what does his legacy mean to you personally? Muhammad Ali's legacy to me personally is something that, as I mentioned before, is generational. So I grew up seeing my father um, it being inspired. I grew up seeing my family being inspired. Um, so a, a dear moment for me is when I saw Muhammad Ali in the Olympics lighting the torch. And from that moment, I don't know, as a young child, it overwhelmed me. It made me feel powerful. And from there, it was always something inside of me that I knew that I am the greatest. And now that I am older and been able to spread how I feel and spread my um, transformation that has Muhammad Ali has made in my life to other youth and being a part of this beautiful legacy, this generational legacy, this generational impact um, means more to me than anything. So thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to talk with us.